Hello and welcome to Christian Crafter Noon. It's Bev. Steve isn't here yet, but I just wanted our viewers to know that, as you know, Steve has been pursuing Tim Gunn to be the celebrity spokesmodel of his men's line of crafting smockets, or as we call them, smackets. He's been pursuing Tim Gunn for months. Finally, we got some mail from Gunn. It's got to be Tim Gunn, so I'm going to surprise him on air with the letter. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, Hi, and welcome to this episode of Christian Crafternoon. I'm Bev. And I'm Steve. And today, I'm going to be showing you how I make one of my men's crafting smocks. People have been writing in and asking, Steve, where do you get your ideas? How do you choose the fabric, etc.? So today I'm going to show you all about it. This one was one of the simplest ones I've made. It really was a, a preformed smiley face. Gotta love a smiley <laughs> face. And then I added the eyes and I made one pink and one purple. I love that. And again, remember, I'm for the men's market. And I read a study recently that men are really much more under stress than women. I think it's because they're usually the breadwinners for the household, especially in Christian under homes. Under stress? And so, Do you mean no, they're under stress. Under oh, stress. Oh, under stress. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. And so I thought I men would agree. want something that makes them right, happy. Right, a little soothing. Oh, and I think that lavender, when I look at that lavender eyelid, that really oh, kind yeah. of soothes me. I, so I, the one I want to talk about today, though, is uh, one wow. um, <laughs> that I wore in a previous episode, and this is um, an homage to the machismo world of men's sports. And so, as you can see, um, I, I began my inspiration... When I saw these at Michael's, I thought, well, this is perfect because men are into sports. And then I thought, well, what's more sports like than referees? So I chose a fabric that, you know, is reminiscent of a referee. I, I like that. I like the, the inclusiveness. It's referee suggestive, yet it includes the women with the... No, that wasn't the intent. Well, no, it's just... Well, with the pink striping. No. Well, did your did your referee have a laundry mishap? I mean, did he wash his shirt with some well, red, I don't know, red Beth. pants? Did he? Did you make the smacket? Well, is this your smacket? Well, no, I. I didn't choose the fabric. All right, now might be a good time I to mean, pull out the happy surprise that I was wanting to spring on you during the surprise. show. Happy surprise! Yes. What? It it seems you finally heard back from, you know. <gasps> Not Tim Gunn. It's in today's mail. Oh, I'm sorry, Bev. I'm sorry I yelled at you. Oh, I can't. I can't look. I can't look. Well, you oh, better look. Oh, my gosh. I brought a oh. letter opener. Go ahead. You've been talking about it every oh. week for weeks. So I'm sure our readers, oh, viewers really want to know. Oh, and it's even registered. That's a good sign that it's going to be something exciting. From Dunham, Dunham, Heap, and Stem. It's a law firm. Oh, it says that he's taken out a restraining order on me. What? Why would Tim Gunn take out a restraining oh, order on me? Yes. I didn't do anything. You did send him a lot of letters and emails. I did, but I don't... What's too many? I mean, I think 274 emails. I don't think oh. that's overkill. Do you? Bev? Oh, really? Oh, you know, he doesn't know you like I know you. It might be frightening for the man. Well, and then I sent him those um, mannequin heads in a box with the... <laughs> what? I did. Honey, I, sent him... I didn't know you did that. I sent him those mannequin That's heads really in a box. That's really inappropriate. Well, I had to have something to put the what? smackets over, and they have that little bust area down below. Oh, honey. Do you think oh, that's what did it? horribly wrong. Do you think he went? Think, he thinks I went Godfather on him. I, I didn't even I mean, think of that. I'm so sorry. If you had only told me, I could have said, "Don't send out those mannequin heads." Devastated. What were you thinking? Get, don't touch my wine. 